we will find out uh, tomorrow afternoon, Sunday afternoon. But after the Russian comes another of the Greek contestants. The Olympic Games in Athens in 2004, the Greeks very keen to uh, up their performances in every sport and uh, rhythmic gymnastics is one of them for sure. So far in this championships, showing some fantastic girls, really nice. many people's estimation, the club's the most difficult piece of apparatus to make look good, to keep them moving, or just wander around and hold them. The club's apparatus technique, they'll be looking, there's a set of mills that she's just done there, another set, oh, and a slight wobble there, large throws and tosses. There we've got a throw with two of the clubs. That's quite difficult to keep the clubs actually rotating at the same time. They've got to remain synchronized throughout the move. Oh, two forward walkovers and a catch. That is difficult. Yeah, what a performance again from her. I'm really pleased to see the Greek girls are actually going out there and coming back out with good, clean performances, looking really confident and sparkly on the floor. Eleni Andriola. That's another one to watch in a couple of years' time, huh? Nice extension. And here comes the double walk and the catch. Clean as a whistle. That's the highest mark we've seen so far, so I think it she's is. beginning her bid for the gold medal. <laughs> And be able to scoring that with the ball. Of course, we've had the 27 for, uh, who was it? It was for Gizikova, another of the Russians, with the hoop. And then the 26.95 for Yero Fever, also with the hoop. Those are the top three marks so far. So a year gone by, a year with very little competition for the world number one that was, Kabaeva, but she's back and uh, getting straight back into the action. Well, she was beaten in early October by uh, Chachina in the Grand Prix event, but then came back in Bulgaria on the 20th of October and finished uh, top of the lot there, beating Pecheva of Bulgaria into second place. I think one of the reasons why we're going to see Kabaeva coming top in this competition, even though perhaps she is looking a little bit out of shape, is because the code was really made for her. The gymnastics that she does, all her original moves that, that was 